Oh no, that's a bass. Welcome back to the Belgrade chain, Belgrade Lakes, Maine. Day two in Great Pond. Well, I will say it's pretty big. The fishing was, eh, I don't think it was a great day. Been out here a good while. I'm at nine miles right there, almost seven hours. And I have 23 bass, a couple of pike, maybe a pickerel, something like that, but only one upgrade for KBF. It was too big for WFF, but tough, tough day. I'm whooped. It got hotter than they said it would. There are no clouds. There's like a haze because maybe Canadian wildfire smoke. So we're whooped. It's time to get back to the truck, make that drive back to the camper. You know, I'm sure this lake can be just amazing on the right day at the right time but the only access that i've found is one boat ramp at this very southern southwestern cove maybe there's another one that i don't know about but it's a long pedal looking at the map i figured we'd have the best luck in the canal that goes to the dam and then around this island here, big island, because there's a lot of deep, steep water there. So that's what we did this morning. We headed out, went down the dam canal and then around the island and that's a big island. Oh my goodness, very big island. So with today and yesterday's fish, I got some upgrades on both boards. So how about if I put the WFF board here? And how about the KBF Main State Challenge leaderboard here? And of course, the KBF Catch 22 Any Many Fish leaderboard here. Woo, look at that, look at that. This, this lake's very busy too, as far as fast boats zigzagging all over so we had to pay attention to that so august is halfway over already guys halfway over no fishing for me tomorrow i will be editing videos saturday i'm working so maybe i'll fish friday maybe i'll fish sunday or monday we'll see we'll see what the weather does but in the meantime let's roll you day two in the Belgrade Lakes region. Good morning, folks. 6.07 on Tuesday. Welcome back to another exciting day in the Belgrade Lakes region of Central Maine. I'm back out here with my friends, Ellie and Cheryl. This place is just gorgeous. Wow, I'd love to have the house up on the hill over there. We're in Great Pond and it's a big old pond, all right. So stick around. We're gonna see if we can get on anything exciting today. Again, I'll be throwing my pit swamp plastics and my ragged edge lure crankbaits. We'll see if they make a difference out here. Stick around, folks. Right off the bat, I'm seeing sparse grass, but a lot of boulders along this shoreline. Beautiful stuff, so I'm going to put on pit swamp craw trailer and I think I'm gonna put a little weight in it it's just a trailer but this is a tiny hook so I think this is finesse enough to get a bite let's try it without a weight first it sinks pretty good let's see how it goes that color is called motor oil I believe See if I do a fast retrieve, it'll come up on the top. Oh, did I just 
just get a bite. I think I want to put a little bitty tiny bit of weight in it. I mean, just a sliver. Do I have one in here? I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to cut some of it off. Just because this is such a tiny lure. Okay, let's see what that does. Sinks a lot faster. And it casts a little better. It's not so light. So let's try this craw a few casts. I'm also going to whip out the uh, Savage Gear foreplay. Oh my gosh, you guys should see the sun. Holy smokes. This video does not do it justice. It's huge and it's red. Let me go around this corner and check it out. I am going to throw the, the tiny child rig real quick. Super finessey. Crystal clear water, no grass, just rock. Let's see if we can get a little something. I just had a nibble back there on it. We are in smallmouth water. Though I don't like to fish like areas that are real bunch of stuff, people's beach areas or whatever. Oh, he came out of the water after that. Oh, jeez. I was reeling it f super fast to bring it in. Yes, it is. A little small mouth. On the tiny child. That's the first fish of the day. Wow, what a dink. Thanks, bass. The small mouth are so soft. I figured they'd hit this tiny child. Let's go back to the crankbait here. Something a natural presentation. Oh my gosh, that was a bluegill came out of the water after this crank. Whoa, what a hit. What a hit. Oh, it's a daggum pike. Daggum pike. Ooh, I don't want to lose that lure. Yeah, beautiful pike. Second fish of the day. Thanks, pike. What a clobber fest he just did. Put this away for a minute. I'm going to use this, trust me. But let's throw this top water for a minute in here. This one has the steel leader. And our pike. That was a violent hit. Self-released, another little tiny smallmouth. Hear the dam right there. I wouldn't mind being on the other side in the other lake next time. That'll be my next target. You know what? I'm gonna skip a fluke in there. There's bound to be a fish or two in that. Water's so clear, guys. It is gin clear. Another tiny, tiny fish on this big old bait. Oh my gosh. It's a large mouth too. He is crazy cute so many little ones here
Jeez. I'm going to horse him in a little bit because he's going to get me tangled up. That's a nice one. That is a beauty. Look at that joker. I'll measure him. Right in that house? Yep. Mm. No, Nico. I've been just rotating. He was wet. Let me get a measure real quick. Ah, oh, he's too big for WFF. Is he? Yep. Oh. Nice fish, though. It's beauty. They're so healthy. Oh, he fought too. He almost uh, he almost wrapped me up in the in the house. Oh yeah, all the way down. No kidding. Let's let him go. Best fish of the Belgrade so far. Thank you, fish. Boy, he just took off. Okay, we just crossed maybe a mile across the lake, three quarters of a mile over to the island. So we're fishing the shoreline. Of the, it's a good size island, and we're going to meet on the back side. We went separate, opposite ways, and we're going to meet on the back side. But we have a little bit of breeze over here. We have lots of rocks, good smallmouth stuff back here. So let's see if we get on anything. I just got bumped, and I know it was a smallmouth because they hit like three times. But I think this side will be this island will be more productive than the main shore. Too much development over there. This has a better drop off off the shoreline. It's a beautiful day. We've got hazy skies from the looks like smoke or something from a fire. I don't smell any smoke, but it's hazy major haze. All right, let's get fishing. I knew this was all little smallmouth down there, just babies. Oh, he's got a big sore. That's fresh too. That's the bigger smallmouth that I've caught. See you fish. Jeez, I need some bigger fish. That's number five, bass number five. There we go. Beautiful smallie. Thank you, fish. A little small mouth. Look at that little dude. Thank you, fish. So pretty. Thanks, fish. Number 12. 13. See if we can get something bigger. I'm throwing a half ounce swim jig. Let's see if we can get something bigger to hit. There's a ton of littles down there. That's for sure. And they're on the rocky bottom. I wonder if a chatterbait would work. I can feel the boulders down there. Let's 
let her sink. Oh, they've got some neat kayak launches. There's one. Oh, dang, that was such a heavy hit. Gosh, guys, that was a big thump. Something thumped it. Let's throw it back out there. I didn't even let it sink to the bottom. I just started reeling. Come on, fish, hit it again. If it's a small mouth, he'll hit it again. Oh, dang. Right here, it looked like a large mouth. He followed it all the way in. Oh my. Maybe onto something to get a little bit bigger fish. Let's keep this jig going. It's two good thumps. Honestly, it looked like a large mouth. Okay, I'm gonna go with the jackhammer half ounce in the craw with the black trailer. That's a little swim senko trailer. I got slammed twice on the jig. So maybe we can get some kind of action out of this thing. It sinks quickly too, but with a little bit of wobble action in the retrieve. Let's see if they'd give me something big. It is a jackhammer, you know. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he got airborne. We try to keep him down, but it is a small mouth, I'm sure. I am sure. Oh, strong fish. Super strong fish. Not big. Not big, just strong. He was out in the deep water, though, finally. Finally got a decent small mouth. Oh, fish. I don't think it's an upgrade, but I'll measure it for the catch 22. About time I got one off in the deeper, bigger boulders. Shoot, I've been throwing like crazy out there. Good hit. He was a rock solid hit. Come here, don't give me any trouble. Yeah, this fish is gonna give me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Told ya. Told ya. Oh, fish. These are crazy. Look, he's not even big. Not even big. He's 13.5. All right, all right. All right, fish, hang on. Best smallie of the day. Doesn't say much. Thank you, fish. Oh, they're so hard to handle, guys so hard to handle that was with the jackhammer a half ounce off in the deep big boulders bass number 15 we're going to keep throwing on this side because i've had enough of the small ones if i get a dry spell i'll fish for the small ones but let's continue in the big big bigger water Come here, you. Look at this guy. It's just a strong, small mouth. It's not a little one. Not a dink. They're getting a little bigger. Thank you, fish. Holy hook. Ooh. Oh, there's some 
Doink. 